retro dolls. So it's been forever since I've done a haul, but this one, believe me, is going to make up for the lack of hauls that I've done in the past because I just spit on myself. <laughs> dolls so I know that it's been forever since I've done a haul video but trust me this haul will definitely make up for the lack of hauls in the past because this is a haul of months of buying things this like pile of stuff that you see right here is part of the haul that's not even all of it this is part of it and um, I'm also wearing some of the stuff so yeah there's all of that, plus my allergies, either that or I'm getting a cold or I don't know, my eyelashes are coming off because my eyes are watering. Um, but if you wanna see how to do this makeup, I just did a tutorial for it. I'll put a link to that once it's live. I'll put a link down below and all that great stuff. So um, I'm just gonna start with what's closest to me. So first things first, <laughs> my crazy amount of lipsticks. Don't worry, I've gotten many requests to do a lipstick collection. Uh, video so I'm gonna be doing a review on my collection of Melt Cosmetics lipsticks I'm gonna be doing a review and kind of like a show-and-tell a little bit of um, my Mac lipsticks and stuff like that but look all these freaking lipsticks so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys that I bought was the collection of the Melt Cosmetic lipsticks which if you're unaware of Melt Cosmetics get aware because they are amazing they have like these untraditional kinds of colors and then they have like really beautiful uh, traditional types of colors. I'll put a link to their website down below so you guys can go and check them out. Melt Cosmetics is so freaking awesome that every time that they have their stuff in stock they sell out like instantly. So when I heard that not only were they going to be restocked but they were coming out with some awesome freaking colors I was like I'm getting that and then when I went to buy it it was like collection and I was like they have the collection I got all ten in their collection so I just bought that and they are addicting like look ah, that there's two of them that I'm not even holding right now but they're just beautiful there's like blues and grays and oranges and magentas there's like a highlighter pink that is just like BAM in your face and they're just to die for. So in the same realm of lipsticks, I got three MAC lipsticks. These are the most recent ones that I bought. <gasps> so pretty! And like, look at these colors all together. There's the traditional silver one, the limited edition um, holiday collection lipstick, and then this one is Viva Glam. And they're all nudes, which is weird. I'm getting into like this nude lipstick thing lately, and it's kind of cool. I feel kind of sophisticated and seductive and blah blah blah. The lipstick that I got is called Modesty. It's this beautiful like uh like dirty rose kind of color. Do you see that? It's sort of like like what I said like a dirty rose kind of color and it has like this sheen on there because it is a cream sheen. Okay and so my next lipstick that I'm gonna show you is from their Viva Glam collection and it is Viva Glam 2. And that's this shade right here. And right now, my absolute favorite, like almost, like really, really, really favorite lipstick right now um, from MAC is from their holiday collection that they're uh, having right now. So I suggest you go get that because there's another thing that I'm going to show you from their holiday collection that you need to have. Anyways. Um, it is their lipstick in exclusive events and I love that it's like gold and everything like it's the gold tube and this color I posted on Instagram because I am in love with this it's the shade that I'm wearing right now it's a satin finish it goes on so nice like it feels like you're wearing lip balm and um, Cody even said it felt like lip balm when I was kissing him is that too much information oh well whatever you guys know I kiss my boyfriend duh anyways um, so this is like a taupe brown grayish color that I am obsessed with lately. There is the swatch for that one right there. 
next thing I'm going to show you is this case. If you watch my retroactive, you'll see um, in one of them, I think it was a couple weeks ago, I went on this random road trip to San Jose and I went to the container store and I bought this. Um, this is basically a little um, cosmetics like beauty kit holder thing that you're supposed to put like your um, hot tools in, smoothing iron, curling iron, blow dryer, all that great stuff. I pretty much just use this on my vanity for all of different size brushes. Sorry, they're kind of dirty. So mm. This is really awesome, don't get me wrong, but I'm already looking at a new way to organize these because when I saw Cora or Vintage Otaki, when I saw her room tour and I saw the little thing that she uses, for her brushes, I was like, oh, I want that. So that's on my Christmas list. Is it's it's this like turnaround thing. It's kind of like a lazy Susan for brushes, but it's actually for kitchenware. But I'm gonna use it for brushes like she does. And yeah, this is a little bit too big. Like it's just too big for my uh, my little vanity drawer area. Um, and if you guys want to see what my vanity looks like, I will put a link down below to my vanity tour. I need to do an updated one. I'll get to it, guys. But if you want to see what it looked like a couple months ago, a bunch of months ago, then I'll put a link down below. This next thing is also organizing stuff, and I got this at Target. It's this tray that has a bunch of different, like, drawers and stuff. And I just keep my different pencils, some mascara, little tweezers and scissors and stuff. I just keep that all in uh, my vanity drawer. And this I like because you can stretch it or close it or however you need it. I think it was 20 bucks, something like that. So since we've looked in here, I'm going to show you the things that I've purchased that I put in here. Um, so these are just a bunch of lip liners and eyeliners that I recently got. I'll show you my Urban Decay liners first. So I got these three liners because not too long ago, um, Urban Decay was having a sale online and I got each one of these for $4 each. That is craziness. So um, I got these three pencils. It is Binge, which is like this blue that has sort of like a shimmer underneath it, a shimmer tone, and then I got Lust, which is this purple one right here, and that's also what I'm wearing under my eyes. It's like a dark purple with like a glittery blue undertone, and then this green one called Graffiti, and that one I think is definitely gonna have to be uh, used during Christmas time for sure. So these are the swatches for the three different liners that I got. Look at that green, isn't it awesome? That one's graffiti, lust is in the middle, and binge is on the bottom. Okay, and then I got three different lip liners from MAC. Um, I got Cherry, which is like the pure red, like goes with Ruby Woo kind of lip liner. And um, yeah, so I got that. And then I got Night Moth, which is this beautiful, like dark blood red, like just deep reddish burgundy that is just amazing. And it, I love wearing it with Russian red or cyber and stuff like that. It just kind of complements it really well and makes it look like a total badass kind of lip. Um, and then the last one that I got is called Boldly Bear, which is kind of like a pinky rose toned nude lip liner. Um, I'm wearing that with my lips today and uh, so far, I mean, it's it's all right. I mean, I kind of like it. I needed it to go with all the nude lipsticks that I've been buying lately. Um, but, you know, I'm not blown away, so whatever. Okay, so the last thing that I got from MAC was from their holiday collection. It is basically the majority of what I'm wearing on my eyes today is from this glitter collection, or pigment collection, whatever you want to call it. They have three different um, 
color schemes they have one that's more of a purple one that's more like blacks and then like this neon yellow gold glitter and then this one which is more a neutral based color selection that would be versatile for anybody um, for any kind of look so I got this one which by the way I am in love with their uh, their like decor styling for their holiday collection. It reminds me of like old Chanel retro stuff. You can't buy these like individual pigments. You can't buy them on their own. You have to buy them in the collection. There's five of the pigments and for a limited time, I'm not sure when it ends, this is $32.50. This is like, this is insane. $32.50 or some, some sort of change amount. 32 and some change for five pigments from MAC. Seriously? Unheard of. These are the colors are absolutely gorgeous. It says in gold writing, it either says like MAC glitter or MAC pigment. Like, I'm obsessed with this. It is so gorgeous and they blend beautifully, like flawlessly blend. This is just perfection. I definitely recommend if you're not usually a MAC kind of person, go get these before they are gone or before they are no longer $32 because this I can't say enough about. I love it. One of the things that I recently got from a store envy account called Rotten Jewelry, the store owner, her name is Natasha, and I'm pretty good friends with her and so I wanted to say hi and thank you because she made this for me. It's a Pabst Blue Ribbon Pendant Necklace and I absolutely love it, obviously. I kind of like Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> But yeah, I got this, and if you want to check out her shop, I'll put a link to her website down below. I'll put a link to all of the vendors and all the people that I bought um, that are featured in this video. I'll put their links down below. Her stuff is really inexpensive. Like, um, her pendants and necklaces, you can get custom-made things, and they're obviously a really good size. Like, you just saw the size of that. Um, and I think it's, like, less than $10, so it's freaking awesome, right? Um, so recently Cody and I went to the comic book shop and I saw this mug which I am just over the moon about. I love this mug. It is like huge and comfy and it's Vader Star Wars. It says Vader on the handle. Star Wars, all that stuff and it just it makes me want coffee every morning which I know isn't that great of a Thing, but I just oh I love this mug I'm trying to like speed through this a little bit but also give you guys some information but I have so much stuff to show you guys that it's kind of overwhelming so the next thing that I wanted to show you is this candle um, this whoop I just scraped the candle I got this candle which oh, even with a stuffy nose I can smell this and it smells amazing it smells like those cinnamon Cinnamon. It smells like those cinnamon pine cones that, or the cinnamon uh, brooms that are at grocery stores. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like that and like fresh cut pumpkin. It's just amazing. I got this at Whole Foods for seventeen dollars. It's from Illume, I think, um, and it's an heirloom pumpkin. Without even lighting this, it smells amazing. Like, I walk into my room and it smells like this candle, and I don't even have to light it. It's insane. So yeah, I got this at Whole Foods, $17. Go get it because you don't, you don't even have to light it, and it fills up the room, and it smells amazing. I can't stress that enough. God, I... Uh, why am I filming? I can't even make words happen. Anyways, go get the candle. <laughs> so if you watch my retroactives, then you saw that last Sunday, Amanda and I did a meetup. So during that meetup, we like walked around the mall and bought things and shopped and like hung out with you guys and it was so much fun. But I'm gonna show you guys what I bought while I was there. Torrid! So we went into Torrid and I got this dress which um, has like a mesh top as you could see and then it's sort of like a navy green um, or army green, military green, I don't know, uh, leopard print and these are the sleeves on it or no sleeves on it and it's a good length it goes until like right above my knee so it's super comfy and like the material is like ridiculous and this dress was on clearance um, granted their clearance isn't that great of a clearance. This dress was $39.98, but there was like 
a stupid ridiculous sale going on. I also got the bra that I'm wearing underneath it, which I'll actually show you part of it because um, it goes so well with this dress that like when the dress falls down you can't see that's the bra right there. It's leopard print but like I don't know if you could tell there's like skulls right there you see that? The bras were not only $10 off but they were also buy one get one free so I was like uh yeah I'm gonna get a free bra so this is what I got. This bra which is so cute right? This blush pink with this like nude lace over it and it's just oh, so pretty so since this dress worked out I was like oh now I have to find something in clearance again because you know it's buy one get one free so I'm not gonna pass up the chance to get something free at Torrid really so I was looking around and I found this top that I think is absolutely gorgeous and when I showed it to my boyfriend he said it was beautiful and I'm like really boys don't say that so you know that this is a good top Anyways, so it's a sheer lacy top, like really comfortable. It's got a high-low cut, and you could see that cut out in the back. So it's like super comfortable. So again, at the meetup, the first place we went to was Sephora, and apparently for their VIB um, customers or whatever, yeah, customers, they get like this awesome little bag and then 20% off their purchase. The only thing that I got was this Lit Cosmetics glitter in Tinseltown. It's this silver glitter and I got it, like I said, for like $17. We went to Charming Charlie's. This faux leather bag from Charming Charlie's, it has these two zippers in front. This zipper actually works and this one goes nowhere it doesn't there's no function <laughs> and then in the back there's this little zipper area and you open it up and there's a zipper pocket right here two pockets right here and then obviously the big bag part of it um this was like forty dollars how crazy is that this big old faux leather gorgeous gold zipper bag $40. Okay, next thing that I got at Charming Charlie's was this necklace extender. I got this necklace on clearance there and I just thought it was really classy and bold and beautiful so I got this. I got it on clearance for eight bucks and it's originally 15 and I got this little set of knuckle rings. They're really cute. It's kind of like a gold rose gold kind of mixture of color and they look like tiny little belts next thing I got at wet seal plus is this jacket it's got faux leather sleeves and this leopard print sort of like almost furry material it feels like a throw blanket kind of material. This cardigan I get so many questions about. It's this cardigan um, that I got, did I say I got it at Wet Seal Plus? Anyways, it's like huge and comfy and like perfect. I got this top. It is like super comfy and loose and yeah, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's a Friggin' tank top. Um, I also got a Sublime t-shirt, uh, but I, it's in the laundry. <laughs> Anyways, this is all Wet Seal Plus if I haven't already said that like 20 times. And then I got this striped, I think it's a maxi skirt, I don't know if that's what you call it. But like all these different, I'm trying to show you the length, but it's like super long maxi striped skirt. My favoriteest thing that I bought from them is this dress. It's Spider-Man comic book print dress. Um, it's pretty short but it fits me perfectly and I'm kind of like, I feel really sexy and sassy in it because it clings to every curve and I'm just like, hell yeah. Like even fat rolls and stuff, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I look good. The last thing that I wanted to share with you guys are these cute little, what are they called, moccasins that I got at Target for like 20 bucks. Um, they're simple black little moccasins, but they're going to come in handy with the cold weather and me being lazy. 
Anyways, oh my god, I'm running out of breath. I ran out of breath. I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you guys have any questions, comments, or video requests, just go ahead and put them down below. Hopefully the comment section isn't giving you too much hell. If you guys want to talk to me, just send me a message on my Facebook. All my social media links will be down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys. Bye.